Adobe Color is an internet application that lets individuals try out, create and save various color schemes, each of which consists of a set of five colors. Users can export a color scheme straight into Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator and Adobe InDesign and sync to Adobe Color service. So let's come to uh, Adobe Color. So if we type on color.adobe.com, so it will open this page. So here, as you can see, this is color wheel. And you can, you'll be able to see all the, all kind of colors or all kind of harmony rule here uh, at the left side, okay? So you can get analog, you can get monochromatic, triad, complementary and other stuff. So if, if I click on analog, it is giving some kind of interesting uh, look and interesting color themes. And here, if I click on the little drop down or little arrow, you will see that this is the base color. Okay. So depending on this color, you will get other colors as uh, which will maintain the harmony and all. So from here, you can also change the color like uh, as you can see the color code we, are, we we will be able to see the color code here and if you have any specific color code like uh, suppose your client has been provided something which is uh, a specific color code so you can just put this color code here and according to that you will get other colors to build the specific color theme you want so from here we can also change this like if we drag this uh, little bars like here uh, as you can see this is also changing the whole thing is changing so th because this is the base color so the whole thing is changing if if i click on this so uh, some specific colors are changing from here to here so but if i click on the base one then the whole color is changing so uh, that is how you can uh, create your own color and you can just add it to your library so adding it to your library is a pretty cool thing you just need to uh, click on save so once you are clicking on save it is already saved on your library so how to check that if i go to libraries and here as you can see my library so if i click on that here i will get all the color themes i have downloaded and i have added so far so here you can create your own library and you can download or like use it for your own artwork according to your choice and this is a very cool uh, i think this is a very cool website this is a very cool thing adobe has done for all the designers and all the artists worldwide because this is actually very very useful so if i click on explore here you'll be able to see all kind of you know like uh, interesting artwork with their specific color themes so just take my pointer here you will be able to see this is add to library so i can directly add this to my library uh, if i click on here so theme successfully added to my library so if i go to my library now it has already been added so from here you also get different kind of like i am i'm liking this theme also a very nice combination so i'm adding this to my library as well so um, and if you click on trends you will get all the trendy uh, you know like themes which is actually uh, popular now and if you click on view more you will get more like this and uh, if i click on create and here i will get some more you know like options like if i click on extract theme and here as you can see they're asking for drag and drop your file so if i click on select file and uh, this is one of my paintings i have done on heavy paint so if i click on this so what it is doing it is by default it is just extracting the color themes from this particular uh, painting or artwork and another cool feature is if you go to the left side 
uh, here you will also get different kind of thing like here the colorful is selected so if if i click on bright it will give all the bright colors included in this specific painting if i click on muted it will give all the muted colors uh, similarly we can get deep dark and other part so this is a very cool feature and you can directly uh, you know like add all kind of you know like themes to your to your library and you can also download them as jpeg so if i go to libraries and if i click on my library and here i'm able to see all the themes and if i take my pointer on any of this color theme or color palette uh, i can see that download as jpeg so if i click on download as jpeg it will be downloaded as jpeg and you can directly use that in, on your artwork uh, where, while working on adobe illustrator adobe photoshop where you can pick and choose colors from this theme so that's it for today guys i hope you have liked and enjoyed this video and if you have enjoyed this video please comment in the comment section like what you think about this particular tutorial and if you have any better suggestion for this kind of things you can also suggest me that on the comment section also check my other tutorials of photoshop illustrator and other design tools to learn it the easiest way so be happy be awesome be positive and be creative so I will see you in the next video and till the next time, 